Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. For today is my April haul video. Um, it's going to be a haul stuff that I purchased, and but I'm going to first start with um, some happy mail that I received. Um, my friend, my bestest friend Amanda, I'm sure you guys all know we're really close from Amanda Colors. Um, her and I have become amazing friends through this community. Um, I really couldn't ask for a better friend. I have met so many, so many people, um, but Amanda and I have really connected. Well, we recently decided that we wanted to send each other a package of snacks from our different countries. Um, she wanted to send, I wanted to try some Australian snacks and she wanted to try some American snacks. Um, I'm not going to show you the snacks, um, kind of, we've kind of already, um, eaten most of them, but, um, my husband and I, my husband's really loving it. He's more of a foodie than I am, but she also sent me some fun goodies. Um, I believe all of this that I'm going to show you, except for the last two things are from, um, the Target in Australia. Um, they have Disney products where our Target here, well, at least the one in California does not, um, she sent me the up pencils before, so I have the up pencils. But now, um, she sent me some more fun Disney goodies because she knows me so well. So this first thing on the top is this cute little portfolio. It's about the size of my hand, and it is a drawing set. So it is got rose gold hardware, rose gold hardware. It has a cute little uh, Mickey Mouse little tag in here. The zipper is a Mickey Mouse. And then it's drawing pencils, all the different types. You've got a white pastel, you've got charcoal. Um, I didn't go to art school, so I don't really know what all these pencils are, but there's a G, I think it's a GB, a 4B, a 2B, an HB, an F, and a 2H. Then you got a blending stump, a pencil sharpener, a ruler, one of those clay squishy erasers and then a regular eraser. I am so excited. I do love to draw just in case you guys didn't know that. Um, drawing is another one of my passions. Um, so there is that one. Next she sent me some cute little Fun. These are puffy Mickey Mouse stickers. This one right here is my favorite. The Donald saying, what? So cute. And then this is a cute little set. This was is a coloring set. And it came with, let me get rid of this. Um, a little box of colored pencils. Um, and I believe... I'm gonna set those aside. We'll go over those in a minute. And then some little postcards. So I'm gonna show them to you one at a time. So we've got this one. So cute. They're bigger than a postcard. They're not really postcard. They're more like, I don't know. Like a, I don't know. I wanna say a it's bigger than four inches though. Maybe five by seven card. I think that's too big. I don't really know. These are so cute. And they're a really, really, really thick card stock with lots of tooth. So fun. I'm so excited to color some of these. Um, and we're going to get back to the pencils in here in just a second. She also sent me two notebooks. This one is, it has a little folder in the front. So there's a front and back. And then it's lined paper with cute little Mickeys on the corner. This might just have to be my next coloring journal. We'll have to see. Or just... 
I love to write, so just a notebook to have to write. And then, because like I said, I love to draw, this is a sketchbook. So it has, I love the inside, isn't that so cute? So it's this amazing drawing paper. It's very toothy, yeah, really good paper for drawing. I'm so excited to use that. Um, and then my absolute favorite part that she sent me, which is why I saved these pencils. I'm going to get my X-Acto knife really quick. I'm gonna open these. So these, so there, this one is um, the Fab Five, and this one's just Mickey. This one says more Sunday, less Monday. And they are two different sets of Disney pencils. Are they not so cute? These ones are like the, I would say, brighter tones, and these are more of a um, pastel-y tones. But yeah, and then the inside are so, they have little sayings. This one says, be the brightest color in the box. Oh, they both say that. Be the brightest color in the box. Isn't that so cute? So now I have these two sets. I have the up set. And then, I don't know if any of these are repeated. They don't have, I don't think they, oh, maybe. No, I don't think they are. Because there's not a black in either set. So now I have a black. And this is like a darker gray. The leads look different. Whoops. Oh, they're taped in. Then, um, but yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. If there's a peach. But that kind of looks peachy. So it might be the same. So it might be the same as these, but I'm not sure. We'll have to... Swatch the oh I don't have a brown so there's brown here and a black and a like a, a tan color so look at that plus I have my upset so and in case you don't know what I'm talking about I have those right here just kidding that's the wrong drawer they are right here what I mean by up is the pencil case is up. So it's really the Pixar pencils. And those ones look like this. And they actually have color names on them. But they're all by the same company. But isn't that so much fun? I'm excited. I need to swatch them out. We'll have to do that on camera one time. I have not done that yet. So... And then another really exciting thing she sent me is, sorry, I'm going to get to it. She sent me some Copics. Um, these were some doubles that she had. Um, and she asked if I would like to have them. And I don't have any Copics. So I was thrilled, so excited. So I now have six Copics. Um, I have, let's see what color. This is Soft, Soft Sun, Rose Salmon, Warm Gray Number Two, Cool Shadow, which she said she likes to use for sky. I'm excited. Hydrangea Blue, and Warm Gray Number Three. I am so excited about these. I actually have tried them out already on a paper. Yes. So Amanda, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all my fun goodies. I can't wait to use them all. Now that I finally hauled them, I'm gonna get to use them more. Um, yes, and I sent her fun goodies too. So now on to the other supplies. Now these are all things that I purchased. Um, actually, some of it is Christmas present. Um, so what happened is, I'm going to explain it. 
my dad ordered me the one of the starter sets for the Copic CAOs or however you say that. And um, they never came. And so he had to get, he got refunded because they said, um, I don't know what happened. He ordered them through Amazon, but they got lost in transit. I don't really know. So we got on there to reorder them and the price doubled. So um, I told him not to worry about it. So instead, um, we ordered other things um, that equivalent to like the price that he would have paid on the the Copics. So first I got three sets. Um, I got set 13, 14, and 15 of the Distress Inks and they also came with a case. Now I already have some in this case. I just wanted to show you guys in case you didn't know. They do sell cases for the um, mini Distress Inks. I think they, I don't know if they do for the regular size ones, but they do the minis. Um, I don't know which one is which. Okay, this one I believe is, um, mm, anyway, we'll just show you the colors. So in this set, we have Wilted Violet. We have, I'm opening it on accident, uh, Spiced Marmalade. We have Mowed Lawn, Fire Brick. We have Twisted Citron. I think that's what it says. Hickory Smoke. Um, Blueprint Sketch. Ground Espresso, uh, Cracked Pistachio, Abandoned Coral, Mermaid Lagoon, I'll have to use this one for Mermaid, and Fossilized Amber. So yeah, I am so excited to get to, I love that these stack, they're like Legos. Anyway, I'm so excited to uh, swatch. You haven't swatched them and test them out. Um, I haven't had them for very long. Um, so he also got me two sets of color pencils. Um, the first set um, are my Spear Farbens. Now, um... I was excited. I heard a lot of good things about these. They're not in here. I did get a case for them. They, um, just the plastic trays that it comes in. And I did swatch them out. I have that right here. But I'm going to grab those real quick. So I got... So it says, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them first. It says they're an artist colored pencil with premium pigments, bright, vibrant colors. They're artist grade, grade quality. They're oil based with a creamy texture and they're non-toxic. And they are a 3.3 millimeter lead. But yeah, they have fun names. I like the names on the pencils. So I got this cute case to go with it. So here they are. I'll show you how beautiful they are. So um, they have, the top is like a gold, almost like a coppery gold. Then they have a silver band and then they're color dipped with whatever color. It has their color name and the color number. And on the other side, it says Fear Farben and it says excellent and it has a cute little crown like a princess crown on it but yeah um, I haven't used them in a coloring book yet but I have been using them in my paper versus pencils test here we go 
here is the swatch chart. Um, I got this one off of Becky's DIY color charts on Etsy. Yeah. I liked how they, this is the Nina paper, the Nina Bristol vellum, the 67 pound, I think. So it's got lots of tooth to it. It's good colored pencil paper. In case you were looking for some good colored pencil paper. That's what I like to print on my PDFs on too. So there is that set. Um, the next set he got me is the Star Joy Gold. I've heard a lot of good things about them. I actually today watched a video. Do I have it upside down? It's not wanting to open. They're not in here, but there we go. Um, that these were made for coloring books. And that they have special numbers on them to show which ones like go together. So like right here, it says 1R, 2R, 3R. So it's like a dark, medium, and light for blending purposes. I thought that was neat. Let they go together. So let me show them to you. So I got this Mondo case for them. Um, there are 120, but I already have a set. I have the original Star Joys 120, and I wanted to have them both in one case. Because I was tired of having um, a whole bunch of different cases. Anyway, so here they are. They are, um, the barrel is what it matches the color. And then they're gold dipped. And then here's the number. And then on the other side, it's the color name. And I love that it's on the very bottom so you can sharpen it all the way down and you still know what it is. I did swatch these. I purchased the, um, I purchased, she has them for free on her website. Um, Coloring with Claire, she does these swatch charts and family, color family order, and I love her color family orders, so I've been using those. So here they are. Um, they're greens. This trio right here, that's my absolute favorite. I love that trio. Grasshopper green, Lori green, and pickle. I really like that. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Excuse me. So that is what, so those were belated Christmas presents from my dad. Um, then the rest of it, I purchased. Um, since we're finishing pencils, I'm going to finish. I have two more sets of pencils. Um, these I just got the other day. Um, someone had posted that they were on sale on Amazon in Amazon US. And I got them for $60. Um, these are the Derwent Chroma Flows. Uh, they come in a tin. They're not in here. Um, I put them with my color sauce. So that is not a new case. This is an older case here. Um, they are, uh, someone had said, no, I, I don't know who it was. I don't remember that. I, I like the color softs, but I just didn't think they had, a, you know, enough colors because there's only 72. Um, and they said, if you combine the color softs with the, with the chroma flows, you have plenty of colors. Well, they are completely different in size. I have not swatched these out yet. Um, number one, they are way skinnier. They are black barreled. Um, they have a name and a number here and then they're color dipped. But I'm gonna show you the difference. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell the difference. I don't know in size. Can you tell that difference? They're like, the color softs are way thick, and then the chroma flows are really skinny pencils. Um, let me read you a little bit about these chroma flows since I have the tin. 
I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, it says that they are a vibrant, blendable color with a smooth lay down. They're professional quality. Um. <laughs> I'm wondering if like they're oil based or wax. Um, it does not say. It just says they have a premium core strength pencil that handles pressure with sharpening and in use. Enjoy consistent, reliable quality every time. But yeah, I don't, it doesn't say, it didn't come with like any like brochure or anything about them either. But yeah, I was excited about those. And then um, I was influenced. I love it when people influence me. I really do. I really, really do. Because how else do you find new fun things? Jamie's Coloring Love. Um, she said these are her favorites. For a budget pencil, these are her absolute favorites. So this is the Flowwood 160 Expert Set. They are not in here. Um, it's just the plastic black trays like all of them. It's a mess. I did the... So I told you about the... Or I got the Color with Claire family... Color family charts. Well, she has a whole video. If I remember, I will link it in the description box below where she shows how she makes the the family charts where she makes all these little squares and she cuts them out and then she puts them together on a piece of white paper. And um, so I did that. So all my little cutout squares are in here because I did my own. I gotta take it out of the plastic. I'm gonna move this. So we're done with the glare. So here is the color chart. So here are my color family. I think I did a good job. I tried. Um, I kept them in case I, I wanted to redo it. But I even had to ask my husband a couple on a couple of them. Um, I had a hard time with certain ones, um, like this really light, light, light blue. So I don't know, Pamela from Pamela's Pencils. I don't know if you watch my videos, but if you do, this one has a really light blue and I know you like them when they have the really light blue. Um, I didn't feel like it really went with any of the other blues. I guess maybe it could, no. Yeah, maybe in front of this one. I had Anyway, I had a hard time with that one. There was another one. Anyway, I had to add on my own more down here because I ran out of space and I didn't want a third a third paper but yeah so I did get a cute case to go with it and I will show you pencils so here is the cute case is this not the cutest case I thought so I was gonna look to see if it says um if they're an oil-based pencil or not. Um, no, it doesn't say. Well, that's okay. Let me show you the pencil. All right, here they are. They do not have color names. They only have color numbers. They are um, a thicker barrel, I think, um, and they're color dipped. And there's 160 colors. They just say flow wood color pencils. Um, I haven't really, other than my swatch chart, and then I have put them to the paper test. So other than that, I haven't really tried them out yet. I need to try them out on a coloring book. Have to do that soon. So that is it as far as colored pencils go. I did get some other quick supplies. Um, I got some brush pens, some water brush pens. Um, I'm trying to find ones that I like um, without paying an you know arm and a leg for them. And the two sets I have are no name brand. They were just really cheap. So I decided, okay, um, I do like Arteza's products. I'm gonna try their 
uh, brush pens. So there are six of them. So they come, they're all different sizes. You've got the fattest one looks like this. I don't know if I would use that. But yeah. And then they have the, this is the smallest one. It looks like that little brush. So I got those and then these ones I got, they were on a lightning deal, so I thought I'd try these. These are the Caran Dash ones. So you have um, two different brushes. So there's this brush. And then this brush is a bigger one. And then they have a pen. This is like a marker, like a brush tip from a marker. So what I was thinking was I could put Gamzol in here for blending, right? Let me know if that will ruin this pen or not. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know. And then I also got these because um, my these are um, I'm replenishing. Um, mine are starting to be empty. I get a lot of people that ask me what I use in my Disney Color by Number books. I use these and the Thule Arts. These are the Ohuhus. They are the Ohuhu acrylic paint markers. And they are the fine tip. I don't really like any other tip. Um, there are, I believe, 42 colors. Um, but like I said, um, I'm using them up. Those Disney pages take a lot of paint. So I needed to replenish. So there are those. So that is it as far as supplies go. So now we are going to move on to books. I'm going to start with uh, my Disney books. I did have a lyric order. Um, first one I got is uh, the newest one, Seasons by Hatchet Hero. These are the color by number books. I am going to show the uh, the spoilers so um turn away if you don't want to see i like this one it looks very detailed um i like the more detailed ones like the love story one is like i love how detailed that is i know there's a lot of you out there that like more portraity ones but i like this better it's mickey mouse i need to get a mickey mouse one i don't have a mickey mouse one and we have I have all the Grand Classics ones, but other than that, I don't have too many others. That's really cute. <laughs> this one would work for my letter K because there is Coda and I forget his name. I, I know I wrote it down. Can I? his name the other one they're both k's his name is coda coda that's what he says i think that's cute yes i've had um a lot of res um, comments on other disney characters that i didn't know i guess there's some lion king characters i missed i've, I've really only seen the first one and i don't remember there being any characters with a K in the first one. So they must be in the other two movies. Here's Max. Gerald. Hmm. seen this one. I don't think I don't know what this is either. His name is Buck. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know what that's from. Home on the Range. Oh, that's fun. 
that is Seasons. Uh, the next one I got was a battle. I didn't, I, I fought with myself against this one and the girl power one. This one won. I'm going to show the results again. So if you don't want to see, this one's very detailed too. I like it. That's fun. I know it's probably supposed to be, um, landscape but it looks upside down in here <laughs> or maybe it's a misprint in my my book i love this so mermaid's coming this one has lots of aerial not really in the mermaid form well here she's mermaid here not the This must be one of the other Cinderella's. I don't really like the other two Cinderella movies. I liked all the Little Mermaid movies. Those were cute. But a lot of the sequels I didn't. I liked the Beauty and the Beast Christmas one. But I haven't seen Pocahontas 2. Um, Mulan, I think I've only seen the second one once. That's from the Christmas one. And Aladdin. I know there's like three movies in Aladdin. But I think I've only seen the second two once. So that is Princesses. Uh, the next one I have is I got the Pixar one. I was hoping for more Inside Out pictures because that's like, I love that movie. But I was disappointed. You guys see that? There's a black line in there. I wonder what it is. It's like a misprint on the, on the page. Huh. Anyway, I'm going to show the results, so if you don't want to see. Yes, but I was bummed. They're not in there. <clears throat> if you're part of mine and Amanda's Facebook group, Color With Us, this is one of our scavenger hunts this week. I know I had some questions who it was. I put Eva. I should have put Eve, because really her name is Eve, but Wally calls her Eva. So, there she be. There's Kevin. That will work for my letter K. again and that is the first Pixar there is a second one that one is on my wish list and then I broke down and because I liked the second one so much I got the first one um I'm not really sure why I got the second one first. I think it was because it had Tinkerbell on the front and she's my favorite. So I wanted that one first. But I had so much fun coloring in it. These are double sided. These are like little note pages in the back. So you can't use your alcohol markers, but I think they work better with pencil anyway in this one. This one would work for um, rescuers. For 
Kathy, Spicy Cat Colors. Um, I know the month's not over. I still have time. I need to get my um, Red Panda in there by the 27th for Pixie's Project. Yeah, so that is Disney's Vitro, the first one by Hatchet Hero. And it is a very book and it's hardback. All right, um, that was it for my lyric order. The next two are, um, I am um, subscribed to the Coloring Heaven magazine. So these are the two most recent. I believe this one was March. And this is Gothic Beauties Special. We've got some Sarah Richter. Some Chris Ortega. Some Anna Marine. Some Selena Fennec and some Alchemy Carta. Those are all the illustrators in this one. That's pretty. That's kind of creepy. She needs pupils. That looks really creepy. But anyway, that's Gothic Beauty Special, and then this is the most recent one. This is Enchanted Animals Special by Kanoko Ikusa, and it's new and exclusive magical designs. Oh, this is their 100th issue. Celebrating 100, 100 issues. Does it say? Yes, this is issue number 100. Coloring ha Heaven. These are so cute. I don't have any of uh, their books. So I was excited to get this. Love it. All right, the rest of them are all Amazon. So uh, the I completed my Nice Little Town uh, series. So now I have all the ones that I want. I do not have numbers one through three. Um, they do not have the mice in them, so I really didn't want them. But I have four through 13, and now I have interiors, which um, I was looking through it the other day. There are no mice in this one either, but it's still really cute. There's actually people in this one, see? A little boy reading a book. That's another one of our uh, scavenger hunt prompts for this week in our Facebook group, in case you guys are wondering. If you wanna join us, the, just the um, Amanda and I in our Facebook group, there is a link to it in the description box below. It is called Color With Us, and I believe there are three exclamation points at the end. Look, little gnomes. So this is Nice Little Town Interiors by Tatiana Bogimasolova. And then I did not have number 11. So here is Nice Little Town 11. So cute. He's given a puppet show. I love this. Oh, it's a map of the world. So that is number 11. Um, I have a flip through of this one on my channel. So I'm not gonna flip through it. Um, I was so excited though. The, um, this is Coloria, Wonderful Little World. Um, they have finally released number one on these books in the United States. So I am so excited. Um, they said they would reach out to me when volume two comes out. So as soon as they let me know, I will let all of you know. It is so, so cute. It's just cute little animals doing people things. Isn't that cute? I like the duck. This duck. Anyway, very cute. So that's Wonderful Little World by Coloria. And then, oh, that's not the right one. I grabbed them.
So the next one I have is Birds in the Forest by Denise Klett. I was so excited about this one. Um, I recently learned that she has a um, contract with Disney and she draws for Disney. And that totally makes sense because these birds so remind me of the Tiki Room. Like this part right here. Or they're sitting in the little rings, you know, and they're singing, let's all sing like the birdies sing. Tweet, 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 tweet. If you have never been to Disneyland, the Tiki Room is a room with a bunch of birds and they sing. And they like audience participation. Like this with the main birds, you know, when they wake each other up, though they look kind of angry. The birds in the Tiki Room don't look angry. But I love it. I am so excited to color in this. That's, that's the cover page. I think this would be fun. I love this one. So that is Birds in the Forest. Um, I also joined this bandwagon. I do have the Circle of Life one by Melpomene Chatsapanagutu, I'm assuming. I don't really know that's the name. Um, I wasn't going to get it, but then I saw the flip throughs and there's some really fun pages in here. So I did. It's just, they're, they're so little. I mean, it's almost like you're going to have to have a really sharp pencil or fine liners. Yeah, the one I liked, I think I passed it. I like the books. Anyway, there's lots of flip throughs of this on YouTube. That's Enchanted Earth. I also got the new Kirby Roseanne's Alien Worlds, and there are lots of flip throughs of this on YouTube, but you know what I noticed? Nobody has said, um, they are double sided. Nobody has said, and I think some of these pages totally remind me of Avatar. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna find the one that really reminds me of it. Like this guy does right here. These guys. Something about their faces. And these ones, you know, they ride those dragon things. Um, yeah. I don't know. There's something about some of these that remind me of Avatar. Kind of creepy. I do have to admit, some of them are kind of creepy but it's aliens so like this guy this guy's kind of like I don't know like the things from Independence Day am I aging myself with that movie you know with Will Smith that one's fun I like the elephant one except for why does he have to have claws at the end of his trunk I don't like that part but yeah that is alien world by Kirby Roseanne's um, I got the new mythographic aviary by Joseph cat and bang um, I think it's beautiful with no hidden objects I love that That's pretty. You could do rainbow clouds. Oh, that would be fun. Bumblebees. Somebody I watched today really likes bumblebees. Drawing a blank. They did their Japanese coloring book collection. Sorry if it's you and I'm drawing a blank. I think it was coloring with K. 
I believe it was coloring with K. If you don't have the aviary one yet, there's a, there's a K if you watch my videos, there's a bumblebee page in here. Right there, just for you. So that is Mythographic Aviary. And then last but not least is Enchanted Forest by Joanna Basford. I do already have this book. So this is a second copy. Um, but um, I wanted to start over. Number one, um, when I colored in it, all I used was gel pens. And I wanted to use pencil. And then there's also a lot of pages in there that my mom colored. So I want to save it. So this will be my official copy. And then the other one will just be like memorabilia of my mommy. But this is one of my favorites of hers. I love these pages. I've seen some people do it where they do each tree is a different color. I love that. I want to try that. Never done that. That would be coloring outside the box for me because, you know, I'm all about leaves are green and tree trunks are brown. That's part of the OCD. But I'm willing to try. So that is it. That is all I have for you today and my wonderful little haul for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Um, I don't have a favorite. I like, it, I like it all. I am really excited about my Copic markers, though. And all the Mickey Mouse stuff is really fun. Again, Amanda, thank you so much. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. And the thumbs up that you like it, I really appreciate it. And it really helps my channel and comments, too. I love comments. Um, even just a hello makes my day. Also, I wanted to let you all know that on Thursday, I will not be doing a color along. Um, uh, I am a little bit behind on my videos, so there will not be a color along this week. But they will be back up the following week. But yeah. Anyway, I enjoyed making these videos and talking to all of you. And I look forward to talking to you all real soon. Bye.